Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a free website. We're going to be using free hosting, free domain, free templates, and free plugin. Everything is completely free. You, you don't be spending a single penny on this website. So if you're ready, let's get to it. So this is a website I built for free. I spent nothing building this website so you can see the website just like every other website you have out there you can see it's completely responsive the portfolio everything is intact let me take you around the pages so this is the about me page you can see it a very nice website this is the portfolio page so this is where you can sample some of your jobs that you've done, some websites you've created or built in the past. So it took me nothing to come up with this website. So if you stay with me till the end of this video, you're going to learn how to create your own website for free. So let's get straight to it. To create this website, we're going to go to a website called 00webhost.com. So you can see this is a free web hosting website so to get started we click on get started over here so you can see their price list but they are very cheap offers in case you want to pay for anyone but what we're going to be doing is for free this is very good for upcoming website developers you can practice with this website you have full access to everything you're going to do on the paid version but you're going to be doing this for free so these are the features we have on this website it has one website you can only build one website on it you can you have access to 300 megabyte disk space and it has limited bandwidth of 3 gig you cannot create any email account and there is no support so this is very okay because this is just for practice purpose you're not going to be doing your proper website on this I'd advise you just use this for practice so you can see the features of others you can see it so this three dollar it has everything installed so what we're going to do right now is just to click on the free sign up so when you click on the free sign up if you don't have an account you're going to click this to create an account but if you have an existing account like me I'm just going to type in my email and password so if you don't have an account when you click on this they're going to send a confirmation link to your email here to verify your email so when you click on this email it's going to take you to a new page where you're going to verify then after verification you're going to get the welcome to web hosts you can see the confirmation email so if you've completed this then you're set then you can now go ahead and log in so because I have an account, I will not be signing up. I'll just go straight to sign in over here. Okay, so when you click on the sign in button, you're going to see a page like this. So what we're going to do is create some magic. You have this option here. You pick any type of website you intend building. So we're going to click on this to create web design. So here as well, you have a type of product you wish to sell on your website. So for this, we're building a technology website. So this is where you select the domain name which you wish to use for your website. So if you don't have a name in mind yet, I advise you watch my previous video on how to get a name. I'm going to drop the link in this video. So just type in the name you wish to use. So for this, I'm going to be using G6 Tech Class. You can change this password to your password if you like so let me just change this okay so you submit so when you've um when you've submitted the domain you wish to use and you set your password you're going to click on install wordpress this is the next page you should see so what you're going to do you click on install wordpress so from here now you're going to see a section for you to put your password for your back end of your WordPress. 
so you select a username and you select a password so let me see what password is here because i'm going to be needing it to log in to my back end so i'm going to copy this password and admin so let's say install our wordpress is installed so all we're going to do now is go to configuration so we can log into our back end so right here you put your admin then you paste the password which you copied before and you click on login you can add this remember me if you want to remember the login details so you can see now we are at the back end of our website we are now at the back end of this website you can see it everything is the same everything is the same like a normal website you can see it so we're now going to install a template for this website which we're going to build on so to do that we'll go to appearance and go to teams you go to teams there are there are some teams already installed on this website like the one you saw in the front end like the one you saw in the front end so this is what your website is going to look like when you just install your wordpress with no structure no menu nothing no header no picture so this is what it's looking like so we're now going to install a team a proper team a premium team or a free team that we're going to be working with so for this um, purpose now we're going to be using a free team that is still awesome so to get that let's go to add new over here at the top add new okay so what we're going to be using for this class is the Astra team. So what I'll do, I'll just go and install it. After that, you activate it. Okay, so it's now activated. The next thing we're going to do is to get started to install the required plugins. Okay, you can see our team has been activated and installed successfully so what we're going to do now is to install a template so we'll click on this starter template over here to see the templates available so you're going to see this you're going to see this pop-up button then you click on build website you can watch this uh, brief video to get an insight so I'm just going to click on view the website. So I'm going to choose Elemental as my page builder. I'll just select this. So when I've done that, when I've done that, I'll get a whole lot of templates to pick from. So the ones with premium are paid. But these other ones that they are not premium, they are the free ones we can actually use immediately. And they are still spectacular. Okay, so I'm just going to use this for this practice. So I'm going to click on this. So I'm going to click on this now. The essence of having this button here is to increase or reduce your logo size but we're going to leave that for now so we're going to click on continue so this page now is where you select your team color your brand color so i usually use this green shade you can see it then font you can pick any font combination you want i usually use Montserrat. then you click on continue so you just fill this quick form by putting your name then your email address so here you're going to select beginner or any level you want I usually leave it a beginner so you say myself or my company you agree to terms and leave all these box checked then you submit website 
So right now it's importing our template to our website. Wow. In less than five minutes, our website has been installed successfully. So what we're going to do, there's another quick video for you to watch. You can just click on it and watch it very quickly. But I'm just going to click on view website. Okay, so this is what we have for the front end of our website. So I'm going to be showing you how to change, how I added this image and how to change your logo and change the text and change every other thing in this website. So now, if I want to change this image right here, I'll click on edit page or I say edit with elemental. So let me just do edit with elemental so it just takes me straight. And if I wish to change the logo, I'll click on um, customize. So let me change the logo first, then I'll come back to this image. So let me click on customize. Let me quickly run you through the functions of all of this. So this global head, is where you edit typography, colors, container, buttons, and block editor. Buttons like this one you have here, and this one. Typography like this font you have here. Colors like this color on this text and the color on this button. Container is a box where you have this text built in. So I'll go back. Header builder is to edit this header menu and everything at the top here, including the site logo sites icon buttons and all of that so we're going to change the logo from here right now so you can click on this pencil icon here to edit the logo you can see it all you need to do is say change logo so you are going to upload this is the image that was there before on the hero page i just uploaded this one to it to replace it so we want to add a new image now that's you want to bring in a logo so all we need to do is click on upload then you go to your gallery where you saved the image so this is the logo i just exported now which i just created for this um, tutorial so i'll just double click on it to upload it so it's uploading right now so it can see it has been uploaded so all i need to do is choose image and once i choose it it's, it's, it's supposed to replace whatever you have here but before that let me publish it so you can see the logo there but from what i'm seeing the logo is looking small so what you can do is to increase the size from here this logo width you just increase it to your desired size i think this is perfect with me so i'll just publish again okay so let's move on so this is desktop mode let's see what it's going to look like on a mobile phone So this is this is what it's going to look like on mobile phone and um, laptop or mobile phone and laptop or PC view. So if you want a different icon for a mobile view and a different icon for a desktop view, you can actually come and set that here. But we're going to be leaving this for for both um, purposes. Then I go back. I can set the primary menu from here, but I don't want to do that right now. I can edit this button. You see the hire me button over here i can change it to um, get started get started you can see it i can now change the link any place i want this link to take us to we're going to put the link here just say you want this link to take someone to either to your instagram or to your whatsapp dm or to your facebook dm you can just copy the whatsapp link and just paste it in this place where you have links so that when anybody clicks on that link it's going to take the person to the page under this section here where you have open on a new tab you remember there are situations whereby when you click on a link it opens up the page on a different window aside the one you're working on 
and there's this other option where you click on a on a on a button or a, a link it's going to open on that same page where you are this is where you activate that button so we're going to leave that for now then go back again so the next thing i want to change right now is the site identity which is the page icon the page icon that's this thing you have over here it's called favicon so that's what i want to change right now so i'll just go to site identity right here i'll select the site icon though we can even change the logo from here too site icon so what would be my site icon let me see let me upload this and see what i have so it's usually a squared image the site icon is usually a squared image so you either create a squared image for your favicon or you just um improvise let me see if i can just get something out of this let me not waste time let me just use this but you understand what i'm trying to say so you can just create a squared image so you can see it now that's the icon you have right there so okay let me go to my website proper so you can see our home page so let's say i want to edit this page right now so what i need to do is just click on edit with elemental okay so here we are right now so you can see the containers these boxes you're seeing now is that container i talked about before so if you want to edit this section here you just click on this this pencil here and you're going to see it right here so whatever you change now will be affected here so let's say i am a i'm a web designer let me change developer to designer so you can see i'm a web designer then if i want to edit this section here i'll just click on this pencil here or I'll just click on top of it anyway so i'm going to see the text over here so here right here now i can i just typed in this text so you can edit the text and bring in something different let me add something to it i can help you develop any type of mobile application so you can see you can just type in anything you want anytime so back to this header here right now if i wish to change the color of this text all i need to do is go to style click on style you can see the color right here i'll just click on this and maybe change it to any color i like you can see it's very easy very easy i can just change the color from this palette here you can see it is just changing so there are several things you can actually achieve with this so i think i like the the color it was before let me leave it at this shade of green then i go back so if i want to change this image all i need to do is just click on this pencil icon still then come to this place and say choose image so let me put the image that was there before this is the image that was there originally so you can see it so all i did now was just swap this image and put my own image it can just be any image at all you wish to enter so i'll just upload this right now so going further we're going to change this button here we're going to change this button to you can see here where you have learn more so we're going to change it to register now register now exactly so the button link you can edit the button link from here wherever you want this link to take this button to take the uh, viewer to is the link you're going to paste right here so let me just get a link to my website this is the link to my website i'm going to copy it right now then paste it here i'm going to paste it here. i'm going to remove this ash sign and update this page so when you click on this button it's now going to redirect you to my website completely so you can see how that works 
so this place where we have now is the social icon the social bar so you can edit it from this angle right here so as you can see there's no twitter icon here and i would like to have twitter instead of um the linkedin or let me say i just want to add a new social icon so all i need to do is click on this add item here this is this is the um item here this button is where i can add a list of items so all i need to do now is to type the item i want to add which is twitter i go to icon library and look for twitter and select it then you insert so you can see the twitter icon has been added right here so now i need to now type in the link for the website so all i need to do is to go and get the links to all my social media platforms and just embed the link here click on this next one on behance enter the link to my behance um page go to the next one here i don't know which icon this is so go to instagram click on it enter the link right here go to linkedin do the same thing so that's how you add your social media icon links to your website going further now you have the about me as usual you just click on the pencil icon and edit what you have there the same with this this is a divider you can delete it or just leave it so right here now it's still a header you click this to edit it and the same with this so for this image again the same process you click on the pencil icon you click here and say choose image You can just pick any random image you want and just replace that. Let me replace it with this image and say OK. So you can see, but well, this image right now is not proportional. It's not proportional to the design. So I'm going just change it to what it was. Or better still, when I'm creating my design that I want to replace it with, I'm going to use this dimension right here. You can see. So if you're creating a design, for your graphics use the dimension of the size you have on the picture you want to replace it with let me show you what that means so this is 640 pixel by 814 so let me go to my design so this is why i designed my logo all i need to do is first of all change this thing over here to pixels then i can now draw a shape like this let's go back and see the dimension so this is 640 pixel by 814 that means the height is 840 while the width is um 640 so let's go back now let me paste the dimension here okay all right so so this is the dimension i'm trying to get now so all i need to do is to select this shape then come to this side here and now say the width is 640 640 pixel press enter by 814 814 enter so this is the dimension of the picture i'm supposed to use for that section of the website so very quickly let me just get a random picture and just create what i want to put there so man with laptop just a quick picture okay so let me just work with this picture very quickly i'll just copy the image come right here and paste it so all i need to do is just power clip this picture into this container by dragging right click on coral draw and dropping it into the container so i'll just click on power clip inside then the next thing i'll do is come to this section here and say feel proportionally like i want the picture now to take the size of the container proportionally so i'll just click on this so you can see let me zoom it in so you see so this is what we have right now so i'll just remove the outline and export this picture i'll just call it um g6 banner it can be anything let me just save it like this export the image then go back to my web design class so where is that page okay this is it so i'll just click on it again oh no no not this page this is it let me go back so you can understand all right so this is what we're trying to replace so i'll just click on this again 
come here and choose image then go to upload right now because i just finished the design then uh, okay this is it so i'll just double click to upload it or i'll click on it and select open so i'm waiting for it to upload become active so you just click on it right now so you can see our image right here you can see the image right here now so that's how you create a picture for your page so you can just take your time now to edit these other sections edit it accordingly you can see all of this if you wish to edit this you just click on this pencil icon this is the percentage at which this thing is now so if i want to reduce the percentage i'll just make it maybe just drag this down and you see it's going to stop somewhere here if i want to make it to be almost full or maybe like 90 you can see it so this is just like a progress bar or your efficiency bar anything you like you can call it but you understand what i'm trying to say so here on that portfolio you can still do the same thing to edit it you can still do the same thing to edit it so the next thing i want to show us now is how to add a menu how to add a menu to your website just like i have right here i have this 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 so i'm going to be showing you how to add a new section and how to add a sub a sub menu you can see when you click on this drop down arrow you're going to see another option here which i can actually click so to do that now we'll go back to our dashboard and this time around we're going to go to pages So let me take you to the front end of our website so you see what it looks like before we add in a new page. Okay, so these are all the pages available on the website right now. So we have the about us, contact, home, portfolio. So let's see if that's true. Okay, so you can see what we have so far, just these four items on our home page. So we're going to be adding one more item to it and a subdomain. So let's go back here. So all we need to do to get that is by adding a new page. We're going to add a new page to this now. So let's click on this add new right here. So let's say I want to add a blog to my website. So I'll just type on blog here and publish it. Publish. So this has been published you can see the page has been published the blog page is now live so if i want to edit this page i can click on this to import a template kit which has already been built and just edit it or i can edit with elemental by adding blocks and uh, building it myself so i won't be doing all of that because i've done that in my previous video so if not you can click the link up above and i'm going to drop the link in the description as well so we've been able to create one page so i want to add a new page now which i'm going to use as the sub menu okay so the sub menu now i want the sub menu to be um testimonials so i'll click here and type testimonials testimonials so i'll just publish page as well you can see both pages has been published so what i will do now i'll go back to my dashboard so here in my dashboard i'll go to appearance i'll go to appearance then go to menus let's check our website you can see that the new page has not been added yet it has been created but it has not been added yet so i'm going to add it now and then i'm going to refresh this page okay so this is the menu we have this is the foot menu so to change that now we'll come to this side here and click on the primary menu the main menu that's what i want to edit and i'll select it so we are in the main menu right now so we're about to add these two websites these two pages rather to it so i'm going to mark this and mark this then i'll say add to menu 
so you can see it has been added but i want to use one as a sub do as a sub menu but before i do that let me just save the menu so you can see so you can see the they have been added to our menu testimonials and blog so what i want to do now is to make testimonial a sub domain a sub menu under blog so i'll go back here so i want to create a sub menu so all i need to do is to drag this just drag this down and just move it slightly to the right so that it will fall under under blog then i can just save so this is how you add a sub menu to your website so it has been saved so let's refresh and see what we have so you can see now blog now has a drop down arrow so when i move the cursor around it you can now see our sub menu you can see how easy that is so you can add so as many as you want to it so let me just add one more let me put contact under portfolio and save okay this time around now i want to do um i want to do three two items under one sub menu so let me add this sample page and okay, let me add sample page so i want to, i want to have two items on that blog i want to have two sub menus on that blog so i'll just move this to be in the same line with this then i'll say save menu again okay, so you can see it's just what we have now but let's see what we have now when i refresh so you can see that we now have an extra menu here under portfolio and we have two items under this so this is how you categorize your website if a website is so big that you need to now put some sub sub menus under it this is how you do it so under testimonials if i want to now categorize it again and say uh, testimonial has two types or probably three types all i need to do is to come back to this menu here let's come back to this menu and now say okay testimonial has two items let me just do that quickly let's say about us is a type of testimonial so i'm going to put it under it you can see the steps and i'm going to still bring um let me still bring home on that just for this for to explain this so testimonial has two types which is home and about us so let's save it now you're going to see the step so let's refresh our page and see what we have so portfolio has one you can see now now testimonial now has another sub menu under it which is these two items you can see right here so guys this is how you build your website for free so what i've done in this video i've been able to show you how to get a domain host it get a free team get a free plugin and build your website completely free so if you got value from this video please share this video like this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we drop new content on our page i'll see you in my next video guys